This week's video is sponsored by Acorns, the money app that makes it simple and cheap to make small yet significant investments. Citizens of the Reject Nation, we are here to watch Agatha all along episode six, diving right in. What's going on with that boy, Locke? What do you think of John? Oh, he's he's got to be somebody of import. So some son of someone. What do you think, Greg? I think he's a good looking kid. Yeah. Just generally. Yeah, just generally. Is a no good narrative guy. purpose. Just a handsome fella. Hey, I only like to watch good looking people on television. That's how we do here at Reject Nation. Speaking of Reject Nation, pretty people, the pretty people over at Patreon, I want to thank them for being so lovely, so beautiful. They yeah. keep us sexy. They can watch this show with us uncut, uncut untethered, untethered, like they're sitting on the couch right there. And Oil you. Beauty. You, dear viewer, leave a comment below. Let us know what you thought of this episode, the show in general. Let's have a conversation. Leave a like. Leave a subscribe. Just leave. Well, don't leave. Stay and watch. But after that, leave. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one. Act. Where's his brother? Speed. He's on a bus. He's Agatha's familiar. I bet this is going to be a big one. Ah, different frame rate. Are we in a TV show thingy right now? Oh, he's getting ready to... Oh, oh, bar mitzvah time. He's Jewish. It would seem. He's speaking Hebrew. All right, cool. Oh, her. Oh, him. <laughs> Character actors, let's go. Oh, man. Maybe he's related to Moon Knight, guys. <laughs> Gotta be. I don't know. Magneto's oh, yeah, yeah. grandson doing the work. Oh, yeah, Magneto's grandson. I mean, he's Jewish. Never. <laughs> Have you eaten anything? Oh, good. Perfect. Look, it's his colors. It's his colors. Oh! Come on, uh, yeah, yes. Yes. Yes, yes, And technically, blue is also a, just a Jewish color. What if he's not the ch children of Scarlet Witch? What if they just, uh, just got uh, the power uh, totally uh, mess uh, with uh, canon uh, that uh, much? Yeah. Just like with Scarlet Witch's brother, Quicksilver. That went so well. <laughs> I mean, is this some like false memory they've implanted in him? Oh, we're about to find out. Who's it gonna be? Which witch? Is it gonna be Patty LuPone? The <laughs> oh, there it is. Shit. Good call. Uh, don't tell me everything. <laughs> I don't want to know too much. Spoilers. It's clear that a long journey lies ahead of you. I think he's a very charming actor. Really? This journey will be yeah. one of great transformation and. <laughs> <laughs> Conversation over here. <laughs> <laughs> Your lifeline is broken in two. Oh, broken in two. It, it can mean many things. Your bye. It often represents purple light and blue and light. Important life changes. You're becoming a man. What does it really mean? I wouldn't worry. No, tell us the alternative. Is this a vessel through which the consciousness of Billy will flow? The tower reversed. The oh, tower the Agatha died in? Tower. I mean, not pretty, Agatha. It's Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch crush? <laughs> yeah. Right? Pretty portentous tarot card. Love the vibe in here, though. It's very early Argento. Ah, uh, film nerd. Horror movie stuff. You don't need to be a psychic to see that you're a good egg. Easter eggs. <laughs> I think that's her on the road trying to, like, get in his backstory, oh. essentially. She's, like, tapping into herself here. Sigil. Oh. Is she Sigil the boy? I mean, that looked like the mark over his mouth. Right? Dropped it in his jacket. Boy got sigiled. I don't know. This might be a real flashback. I think it is. That would explain the frame rate. and. Or it's a television. There's something happening with the anomaly in Westview. Everybody needs to go home. What? Sweetheart, sweetheart, I'm so sorry. I think we have to go. Yeah. Do you guys work for Sword? No, there's no way. That, I don't know. This, this isn't real. I like how it's making me question. <laughs> is it? Yes. No. Oh, it vision, vision, Wanda. Oh. oh hi. My husband is indestructible head. It's okay. We'll be home soon. I'm the thing they clip out. <laughs> <laughs> vision, Wanda. It definitely does look like the thing in his mouth could catch. My brain didn't put together that in 3D. Oh, the sky of the moment. It looks like it's getting smaller. Mom, out! East view. Oh, 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 nice stunt. Damn. Huh, cool shot. It's a hell of a D and D game. William, William, William. Willie. Oh. No, he's William. What? 
William, can you hear me, baby? Call 911. Oh, I don't think he's breathing. Yeah, I hit that door hard. Oh, no. Jeff, look. They put Billy's soul in a dead kid's body. But his name is William. Maybe that's the key. Maybe they're the same name. A name has meaning and weight. Ouch. Oof. Tommy! Whoa. Ah, Whoa. Cool. Rebecca! Oh, are you all right? Damn. You're gonna be okay. That was the last oh, thing Wanda oh. said. Yes, he is now. Okay. Thank God. Don't move him. There's an ambulance on the way. Hey, buddy, can you tell me your name? What the hell's going on? <laughs> We're doing TV riffs again, and this is a medical procedural now. I like that we have no idea, and Tommy's finally referenced, but what is happening? Was there the transfer, or is this all part of his imagination? They were outside the bubble of control. Well, Thank you. Different. Is your theory right, Joe? Hey, buddy. Hey. Hi. I mean, if they're conjured of nothing, they would need a material being to put him in. This is where you'd say, since when do you call me buddy? What would Ooh. I? Seriously? He's going to make fun of me. I'm doing my best here. <laughs> oh, my God. It's funny, just... Please don't fight. What? We're not fighting. <laughs> Divorcing your mother. Amnesia. Well, just take a little time to resolve. You're cleared to be discharged as soon as tomorrow. Even with the memory loss? He's clearly not doing great. They're understaffed. It was just a big incident. They need the bed. But then why would she be a cop? Yeah, and why would she be a different... Um... We're gonna get that bathroom renovated home. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder if we're so happy some, you're finally home, William. Some kind of subconscious thing. Okay, I'm gonna change the weather. Pop Boy can't figure it out because he's not part of the demographic. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I'm all in. The show's not for him. <laughs> <laughs> Greg! Greg! <laughs> Yeah, John, I think you're right. It smells like not my boy. Damn, Wanda. You're not using your mind reading abilities to the best of your abilities. Maybe seeing his Romo jock something. What if he never remembers? What if he just Maybe stays like this? Oh boy. Oh. Uh. Be something. Be anything. Funny. Just give me my Would son back. Okay. Stop worrying. Whoa. What a command for a plea. Maybe you're right. Maybe I just need to see my room. <laughs> Didn't say that. Do you mind if I go up alone? It's no problem. Of course. <laughs> don't think about anything. Don't think about anything. Don't think about anything. Maybe when I come back down, we can have dinner. We can. We can. Uh. My treat. <laughs> like a family? Like family have dinner? We all know each other well. Which way is my bedroom again? <laughs> <laughs> what is a bed? Houdini. Let's go. Alice in Wonderland. These are very apt posters to describe Lizard your Obama. mindset right now. Down the yellow brick road. Uh, Goonies the action. More Houdini, like it. Turning some magic trick. So much Wizard of Oz in this room. I know, he's really obsessed with the Phantom. Good thing Wicked's coming out later. <laughs> Just don't make AR He photoshops about <laughs> <Sotirio. laughs> <Sotirio. laughs> <Sotirio. laughs> This was my taste. I like Wizard of Oz. <laughs> I like the yes. dual mirrors. My name is William Kaplan. Yes, keep saying it, you'll believe it. Adventure stuff. And pull his pants and go big changes <laughs> yep yeah big change <laughs> whoa three years i always have fun with you <laughs> that's boyfriend mm. now we're in the chucky show you better have a full-on make out i swear to god disney Get it. you Ooh. better not hold back here come on disney I held back with agatha full on and out. aubrey there you go there you go, go. my boys yeah i'm just saying Always gonna say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. William Kaplan, I love you. Don't pull away. Don't pull away. Oh no, buddy. I need to tell you something. I need to tell you something. Yeah, uh, me first. I don't love you. So this thing happens when I'm with someone I care a lot about and they're having intense feelings. That's an erection. The car accident. I never told you about it, but uh Uh oh. Eddie, I I died that night. That erection joke was really funny, John. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm here for, gang. 
<laughs> undercutting the serious moments. I'm not William Kaplan. Not entirely. I still don't remember anything from before the accident. It's the duality of consciousness he's having. I want you to know the truth. I want you to know the real me. Oh, you gotta say it. Because I love you too. Oh, there it is. Oh, yep. And you love me too. You didn't let him say I, it. I, that's I love you. <laughs> Period. Oh, buddy. For the first time. <laughs> <laughs> For the first time. This is Cute. adorable. I love oh, this. This is adorbs. You cannot cut this out for China. If you're not William Kaplan, uh -oh. who are you? I'm William Billy Maximoff. William Witch. Thatcher. <laughs> William. Oh, fun. <laughs> No distractions, please. I'm gonna need you to hide those arms. Yeah, I'll check a bow wow. Go take the gun show somewhere else. At the exact moment we crashed, that anomaly was collapsing. Uh, that big red dome thing. Huge red dome! I thought that turned out to be some Avengers training exercise gone wrong. Oh, that was a cover. That's fun. They lie. The Avengers are liars. Yeah, yeah. the government, including S.H.I.E.L.D., are liars. Those of you who are oh. a little <laughs> oh. more adventurous, oh. you can- Oh, here. See? Those are runes. Witchcraft. Witchcraft. People who were there refused to talk about it, but I did find this guy on Reddit. Reddit, let I love Reddit, and Reddit loves real rejects, so I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Reddit loves most things people are posting about. <laughs> Couldn't have met him somewhere with lights or people. Who's going to be the Reddit guy? Oh my god, it's going to be, uh... Randall? Randall, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I would love that. Or Luis. Let's get Luis Oh, bring here. Luis just, back. Just because... Because I want it. I think that's it. Oh my god, cameos. I love cameos. Oh, it's guys. coming. Everyone's <laughs> thumbnail's coming. Uh, Who's it cameos. gonna be? Yeah. Who's it gonna be? Yeah. Give me the cameo. Are they in the Subaru? What a great, affordable, reliable car. It's a yeah. man hand. It's a man hand. A man. Oh, the hat. We got some hair under the hat. It's the guy from Spider Man, the amazing Spider Man. Are you Craft Crazy 17? Craft Crazy. Bonerific 69. Ralph no Boner! way! Ralph they brought Boner! it back! <laughs> yes! Uh, yes! Cool. No way. Peters. Randall, call me Randall. He uh, is Randall after all, kind of. You're not wearing a wire, are you? For what? Don't worry about it. Ralph Boner's back. I love how he was <laughs> game to reprise this. <laughs> no! Damn. They again kept his cameo That's so secretive. So <laughs> I know. Also, episode six, right? That was yeah. it. That the same oh episode. You know? So funny. Bonerific. Yes, boner. Start with what you remember. I remember everything. I love that Quicksilver is meeting Wiccan in the weirdest way. Wanda had the whole town acting out this weird, sad sitcom plot. Is this new Trevor Slattery character? Wanda Maxima. You want to hear this or not, Bob? Bob. Bob. Wolverine we'll confirmed. <laughs> it was like watching yourself on TV. It, inside your own head. That's how I live my life. But mm. you couldn't turn it off. And it's kind of what we do professionally. <laughs> it was not a good time. Got the cross on his hat. Do you feel like it changed you? You mean like wake up every hour in the middle of the night screaming? <laughs> Definitely that. Stuff you couldn't do before. What are you talking about? I love Evan Peters' voice so much. I like how intense he is at all times. Please don't ask about Agatha Harkness. Please don't ask about Agatha Harkness. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What do you know about Agatha Harkness? Oh, come on, man. Who is Agatha Harkness? She's an ancient freaking witch who will F your shit up. <laughs> <laughs> it's witch repelling. <laughs> Sage. Yeah, your hour. Wait, yeah. Mr. Bonerific. I just want to talk. God, dude. You want the full deal? I'll tell you. Wow. <laughs> I'm so happy they brought him back. Cost you extra. It's so funny. You it's know, such no a choice. <laughs> of all the people. <laughs> oh, God, he's got so much stuff in his jacket, too. <laughs> he's got like everything possible to ward off spirits and witches and stuff. <laughs> I didn't just suffer. My deal was way, way worse. <laughs> Agatha hijacked my brains. God damn it! Ugh. Smart to bring it back to Agatha. Cancel the Fox X-Men universe. She called me her husband, but I was her puppet. Like a husband, you mean? She stole my house. Uh, completely ruined the market value. <laughs> 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 I have this really nice lady. Hostage in my attic. I was a terrible influence on one of Vision's kids. No. And I poisoned the dog. Why about that? Woof. Oh. Hey. Og. Twins. What were their names? Uh oh. Billy. And Tommy. Billy Tommy. 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 It's funny to get Tommy, Evan Peters Tommy, back, and this Tommy. feels so much like American Horror Story. The little speedster and his mind-reading brother. What happened to Bill? Who knows? I mean, Wanda's dead. How would you know? The sword used Vision for parts. The twins. 
How would you know Juan is dead? They just disappear. Dude. Got put in his body. I think they got sucked up into that red bubble thing like everything else wanted to make. Jeez. After that, I cut and run. Left my entire Blu-ray collection behind. <laughs> Not the physical media. Agatha can keep my Bullflex. <laughs> I'm never going back. Wait, Agatha is still in Westview? I remember we were so excited he was Quicksilver. <laughs> <laughs> Acting like a normal resident. Sourdough starters, potlocks, and whatnot. <laughs> So she's harmless. Did I say that? I did not say it. No. Hey, word to the wise. Don't go sniffing around. I don't want this episode to end. <laughs> Just this scene for Evan <laughs> Peters. I seriously do not know what kind of crazy that lady eats for breakfast. But where's the sourdough starter, man? Except cash or uh Bemo. I give you half off tickets to my one man show in Paramus. Let's go. That's right, he's an actor. I really need to fill seats. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so it's gonna be. Get the tickets. Go to Paramus. Get the Support tickets. him. <laughs> I want to see that. I so love bad. how game he was for this. It was you tell he was having a blast. <laughs> he just completely embodies the new version of this character. Wouldn't know Eddie. He had to go home. Oh man, I made that pot roast you like so much. I even made the potatoes in the air fryer. Oh, cute. Want to watch a movie? Psychological horror. Yes, definitely. Freaky but grounded. Is that what, is that what people say? Hey, you want to watch a psychological, psychological horror? horror? It's a freaky but grounded. <laughs> That's how Greg got me to watch Hereditary. It's Freaky McGrath. <laughs> Freaky McGrath is true. He ain't lying. <laughs> oh, family tree. Dismantled. Come on, put it together. John, put it together in five seconds. I love that there was a boner joke later on after your boner joke, and it was Ralph. You know, I'm just here to hail the bones. <laughs> Summon that boner. Rolling the bones. Oh, the song. the song. Yeah. Is it uh, Joss, the cover? I think the it's her. One they yeah, did the other mom. Get all characters' names. Hagatha Harper. Dread it. <laughs> ah, it's cheeky. I like yeah, it. That's a good one. Hey, what oh. do Tolly Parton, show the real Joe Lead. Oh, my God. Bruhapedia, <laughs> let's I go. That. She's canon as the real Joe Lead. Abigail Adam. Oh, there's got to be Easter eggs here. This is succubus powers. Let's go. Damn, this is 3D as shit. Down, down the road. Let's go. <laughs> you know, even though she's Scarlet Witch, she never really felt like witchcraft. So it's cool to take his character and at least make that feel like witchy. a witchy. Yeah. Truly she witchy. She did a couple times, but overall, you're right. Yeah, yeah. vibe. Missing something in the book about, oh, go find your brother. Is he trying to find his brother at the end of Witch's Road? Maybe not Scarlet. Like I assumed it was yeah, gonna be. Maybe it's brother, gonna bring yeah. his mom That'd back. Makes more brother. sense. I mean, all these mysteries tie together. He's probably looking for a little bit of everything. This is a great idea. Young and love just... and mischief. He's a Jewish gay witch. How fucking cool is that? <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> it's so cool. Has a suspect been seen in the last 24 hours? And she says only on TikTok. Right, she's still in true detective mode. Oh, God. Yeah, we're going back to the first ep. There's some more. There you go. Oh, that brooch. Damn it, dude. <laughs> now we're back. <laughs> Hey, she's wearing a boner, boner on the shirt. Yeah. Was she wearing that in the in, originally? In the, in the first episode? I think I would have caught boner. I don't think so. Yeah, I think it's a little different. <laughs> oh my god, what am I doing? <gasps> we didn't hear him say that in the first episode. Please don't call the police. I can't have a criminal record. You picked the wrong house, kid. Oh. Stop! I'll stop if you stop. Ah! Cramp! <laughs> hey, this looks like where she hawk fought those guys. Hooligan? Eh. Uh, didn't mean for that to be so chaotic. Oh, this is in the interrogation room. This is the reality. Yeah. Fully explain myself to you. It's a car. Oh, her family reunion. I don't think that's I what she was wearing she, in the first episode. Because we saw through her vision. Yeah. She was like in a button up. Compelled you to break into the home of a decorated detective. <laughs> the accent. Oh, my God. Oh, that's not what I was expecting, but actually, I can totally see that for you. Yeah. Mm. It's actually pretty cool to see this in this perspective. <laughs> Ow! Could we, like, maybe not? <laughs> a weird kick. You want to keep poking the bear? I mean, she has to use her environment and sense memory, the office room, as an actress. No, you do not. No, and the I gun hose is fantastic. You're right, that I do not want to poke the bear. <laughs> Try not to laugh, probably. I really like him a lot. The witch's road. What road? Oh, my God. <laughs> New question. <laughs> You've typecast me as the mouthy teen who didn't actually kill the victim, but is guilty of some other B story crime. <laughs> it's off. There you go. That'll work. That won't work. <laughs> Poodle lying. Let's find out. <laughs> just, just 
silly so accent. Tell me about this. Tell me who she is. Who? Tell me what happened to her. What are you talking about? These are just flowers. Did you just hear what I said? Yeah, breaking the illusion. He can like suggest the truth to her. Mind control in like a different way. What are you doing? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. freeing you. That's really tight. Shut your mouth. Okay, where are we Just going? Just walk. Okay. Oh. Come on, I do not want to go back in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Nah, man, you shouldn't have to. Yeah. Confirm. My name is William Kaplan. But I'm really. Say again. <laughs> Say it. I'm Billy Maximoff. Yeah. Oh, man. It's not over, is it? I could survive sneaking Sam. Let's go evil dead, Agatha. Just hold still. <laughs> Hard and leafed. I wonder if this is supposed to evoke tar and feathering imagery. Break it. Puzzle solved. You don't need it anymore. No. That was quite a debut. Ooh. Power is what I'm missing. Hardly. Power doesn't interest me. Yeah. I had a feeling when we first met, even with the sigil in the way, you and your mother have the same tell. And the same smell. I wasn't sure, sure, until... <laughs> it's nice to see you again, Billy. Why did you say that? <laughs> <laughs> Every witch with a beating heart can hear you now. Ooh, cool. Lilia and Jen, what you did was. Uh, <laughs> They're not dead, are they? <laughs> Life goes on. Yours, anyway. <laughs> no, don't pin this on him. I've killed. Mm, 200. Uh, <laughs> my share. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like you. Where have I heard that before? <laughs> Flashback to that episode of WandaVision. Where did you come by this fresh body? Don't you dare feel guilty about your talent. Was it just a happy accident? That his name's William? <laughs> no, I mean for the crash to happen and then for him oh, to transfer. Oh, simultaneously? Yeah. Seems like. You saw an opportunity, an empty vessel, and you moved in. And his name's William. So you broke the rules. Big deal. Damn. That's what makes you special. Like me. That's what makes you a witch. So like me. We need different definitions of what it means to be a witch. I don't need you anymore. Dang. Why are you being so mean? I don't know if I ever did. Yep. <laughs> Damn it. What does Billy Maximoff want at the end of the road? Tommy. Find mama? Find Tommy? She chose a town full of strangers over her own flesh and wires. Nice mm. choice of words. <laughs> what about Robo Papa? <laughs> yeah. Lord knows where he is or in how many pieces. He's getting his own spin-off. When his spin-off will air, yeah. Who is left? Guys, I have a clue. I have a guess. I feel like it's Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Mephisto. There's two of you. You're after Toby. <laughs> 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 Toby McGuire confirmed. Yeah. Big change. I can sense him. I just can't find him. Gosh, you really are a Maximoff. <laughs> None of this would be nearly as dramatic. <laughs> if you really want to finish this together, just know that I do not trust you. Oof. Got it. Let's go find the next trial. Last one there is a nice person. <laughs> eh, from the trailer. What happened to Rio and Patty Lapone? Because I, I assumed Rhea was... I'm not that nice. ...tending to the other dead. But I do think she's death now. But where is she? Damn, dude. Shit. Is it just going to be the two of them for the last couple episodes? I certainly hope not, because there's Rio, there's Tommy, there's <laughs> Doom. There's Mephisto. There's Ironheart. There's the cancelled armor wars. There's Randall Boner. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am excited to shout out today's sponsor because it is an app that I have been using since before we partnered with them, which just makes my job easy. And I just get to share with you something I really do love. And that is the Acorns app. Because money's involved, I researched them extensively to make sure like, is this, there, is 
they gotta be legit, right? You can find so many positive reviews on them. There's one person here, they themselves gave me a very positive testimony about how it helped get them out of a bind once that they were in. And I can say that, you know, I don't wanna actually show my, but I, I have the app just to, there's evidence. Because one of my favorite things about it is how easy they make it for investing. And that's something that I think is really important. It's really hard to get ahead in life. For someone like me who doesn't have a 401k, who really does need to invest money so that way I don't have to just work for money, but have money grow for me, have money work for me. It's an absolutely amazing start. Best part is you don't need a lot of money to do it. You can literally start with your spare change. They make it easy to automatically start saving and investing for you, your future, your retirement, your kids, whatever it may be that you want to invest money for. Like I say, you don't need a lot of money you don't even really need expertise which is the best part acorns recommends an expert built portfolio that fits you and your money goals then automatically invest the money for you so it takes a lot of this stressful decision making fatigue out of the process i just love how i can let it do its thing and then i can just check in with my app like a month later a couple months later see how their awesome dollar roundup or whatever my money investments i've gone into literally it's just awesome to see it grow plus now you can open an acorns later ira and get up to a three percent match on new contributions so it's extra money for your retirement cannot stress it enough it's made investing especially Especially at as a jumping off point, super easy, super stress free, super straightforward. It's all about small steps today making a big impact on your future. Because from Acorns, Mighty Oaks do grow, grow your rope. So you can head to acorns.com slash rejects or download the Acorns app and start saving and investing for your future. There's a link in the description box and pinned comment. A little disclaimer too, I gotta say, because there's you know, financials involved. Paid non-client endorsement compensation provides incentive to positively promote Acorns. Investing involves risk. Acorns Advisor LLC and SEC Registered Investment Advisor. View important disclosures at acorns.com slash rejects. I highly recommend this app, so please go ahead, download it. Thank you again. If you're just joining us on Spotify or iTunes, we just watched episode six of Agatha All Along. It was Agatha All Along. Episode 666. Six, six. I would say this episode Satan. should be called It Was Billy Maximoff All, all Along. along. <laughs> uh, John, I know you love this show. Want to hear your thoughts first. I like this episode a lot. This might be one of my faves. I mean, I love having the coven all together, but I really enjoyed the sense of mystery getting a, at least a brief glimpse of who William was before becoming Billy and uh, and even though yeah like toward the end you know that you're tying together things that we've already seen before I like the perspective shifts and all that stuff like without doing too much again of the witch road mumbo jumbo or or any like super overt uh, spell casting uh, this still had like a, a very kind of witch movie mystery feel about it that again just quite appeals to me um, so yeah, and I mean all the fun with Ralph Boner and all that stuff. Like <laughs> I thought this had the ha ha ha, ha Randall. Uh, yeah, no, I, I I thought this was great. This was a, a nice chance for Joe Locke to kind of take center stage, and as such an important character, it makes a lot of sense for that to happen. And hold uh, the phone. His name's Joe Locke. His real the actor's name. What a cool name. What a Joe cool Locke. Name. Yeah. Joe Locke. They locked him up. K-E. Oh, my God. He's they the should the do a movie about it. He's the mouth. brother they of the guy from the movie. A, there was a prison character name, and they did Joe Locke, and he's locked up. Oh, oh my God. Oh man. It writes itself. It's double meaning. He's the guy Tom Hardy's on the phone with in the movie. They're Locke. Locke. With that accent. <laughs> it's immaculate. Who knows what it is? Yeah. Uh, Greg? Coy, I know this is not your demographic. You know, you really got to preface that with each sentence. Because <laughs> otherwise, why say it? You got to make sure people are going to think that this is the 100% yeah, like, oh. the thing that I am craving at people all times. People are like, oh, they made the show for Koi. My name's on it. Yeah. I, I weirdly it realize the times where I'm not as interested in the show, but for the most part, I really like the show. It's I'm just going to get my negative out of the way. That's why this is the only thing anyone thinks about. It's w usually when they're not in something else. What I mean by that is like how they're in the flashback and they have that dimension. It's the... Like when they're on the road at the end, the whole scene with like Agatha and you don't like the real world of the show. <laughs> yeah, like, so I only <laughs> like the fictional narratives. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it wasn't fictional with his flashbacks, but there's I maybe there's something about the way it's shot in that sense and 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 paced that I'm not the biggest fan of when it comes to the show. It's not like I dislike it. I just am not as interested when that's going on. Like even the the dialogue change was was like fine. Um but I thought everything before that was way more interesting than the final moments of the show, actually. Uh, you know, and, and the reveal itself of looking for Tommy was a pretty obvious one. However, um, that is not most of the episode. Most of the episode is this story explaining um, how Billy Maximoff came to be. 
and I thought it had a really g- great tone to bring Evan Peters back mm. uh, in an episode that felt a little bit like a Ryan Murphy esque type of episode. I thought it was very fitting uh, to reprise <laughs> Ralph Boner, in. <laughs> and, and I yeah, I thought I think his performance is really strong too, and. I find him more interesting than Agatha, honestly. So I, I really think that this is... Uh, I thought this was a solid episode. I had a lot of fun with this one. Did you not like it again? Or you hate it? You hate, I, I thought this you was hate fine. television? What I, is wrong with I you? I just... I feel like they're... they're it's a John and I are not 17-year-old girls or whatever you think this show is for. Yeah. Who's the demo? <laughs> when you say I'm not... This is not my demographic. What's the demographic you're speaking of? Not enough explosions and man <laughs> stuff. <laughs> what's, what's the demographic that you think it's for? Not me. I feel like this show <laughs> well, when is When you say aimed, demographic, what is the demographic? I feel like the <laughs> demo adults. of this show is queer women at the center. And that's what Koi hates. It is like, you know... Uh, Koi uh, hates queer women. Whoever I say the demo is, since LGBTQ. I said it's not for me, will villainize me to them. <laughs> you know, and I know better, Craig. <laughs> obviously, you have a female ensemble. So yeah, like, like a variety of femmes at the center and then the LGBTQ and mm-hmm. then the horror, I think, is the third sphere. Anybody who likes horror stuff. And then the fourth sphere is Marvel. I'm, I'm sure. And I think it's made just for Scientologists That's, at a certain Satan level. And I'm not there. I, you I'm just should get on our level, Koi. Uh, I, I got just pay those tributes Zunu, go to those audits. Zunu's not You'll here. Be there so I enough. feel it's inappropriate. Uh, you know, I'm really surprised. You were, you were, I was like really into this one. I, 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 thought, I thought it was I thought, fine. I thought it was like a cool mystery behind like how he came to be and him uncovering everything, the investigation. I don't I, think I, I have enough investment. And I should at six episodes in in the character like Joe's character of William slash Billy. I wasn't really interested in him until this episode. I, I'm more interested yeah. now, but I just kept being like, "Oh, it's a very complicated reason for his name to be the same name. Why did they do that?" Like, and, and they <laughs> no, it's kind like, of funny. It's like William Cap Billy Will, and then he's like, "My name is the Billy Maxwell." I'm like, "Okay, it's kind of the, the same nearest name. William." <laughs> uh, and like, I I don't know. It just it it feels. Um, I want to care. I'm really trying hard, and that feels weird to want to try to like a thing. And like, it just feels fine. Like, it's not bad. Uh, there, I, I personally did not enjoy the fifth episode. Like, I didn't enjoy it. Like, I, I had a hard time with the pacing, the style, the ending. Eh. But this one was at least like a fine episode of television. Like, I think this is definitely a step in the right direction. I'm, ma- I'm now much more invested in him, which is hopefully going to tie me into the rest. If they really killed those two witches, like, kind of unceremoniously but they also killed the the, See, and the singing one and that's the real life world stuff <laughs> which I, you're like eh. i just don't find i don't that. think that stuff is executed anywhere near as well as when they're doing something that feels like genre specific in some way which is like the alex uh murphy stuff or what right Ryan 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 yeah, yeah or even this whole episode there was a genre bit it was a psychological mystery mm-hmm. like that's the approach they took you know? uh, I liked, like you mentioned, a few moments of um, revisiting that episode where she was in true detective mode, like just from the outside, the you know the spell uh, perspective. That was cool to recontextualize, like what she went through. Sure, um, Mayor of East Town accent back. What yeah. is that accent called? It's so specific. And like the squat in the chair was actually funny. It's not a New England accent. It's it's no. aggressively like it's Minnesota, a... New England. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's probably somewhere in that in that region, but it's not as Boston as New England. It's like as Purely. north as Boston, but yeah. over. Because it's like you swallow so many... Sa- anyway. They say car too hard. I know. Uh, my daughter. Koi doesn't have the exact same opinion as us. So. Yeah, I so... I kind of hate your guts. hate me. I kind of hate your, your guts. Your opinions are not my demographic. Yeah. When you with it. talk about your feelings, yeah. I feel attacked your about feelings, how I feel about it. Your feelings it. are about me. <laughs> if, <Yeah>. if they <laughs> don't like it and I do... Villain. If they like it, I don't. <laughs> villain. Dude, this is it's your fine. villain era, Coy. I'm in my arc. I'm the witch all along. Uh, I hope that it wraps up in three episodes that feel like we've gotten to the point where we like this kid. He's going to be, you know, Wiccan in the Young Avengers that feels inevitable because they've introduced so many children. Um, and I, I feel like... They're all going to be adults by the time we get that's there. That's true. It's going to be like Stranger Things. <laughs> when, like They're like having kids. These Eleven's the- married. The young, relatively speaking, <laughs> Avengers. Young Avengers. Um, but I, I'm excited for the Tommy mystery. I'm excited for if Scarlet Witch comes back, which I feel like is a thing. I feel like Mephisto might occur because his name was dropped. But um, overall, like it was, it was a fun episode. Yeah. I mean, we didn't really do anything that new, did we? No, the episode. I mean, we mostly just did stuff that fleshed out billy as a character to some degree we had his boyfriend and the whole i love you thing in the car which was nice okay so why was woman cop why was she a cop yeah 
Because she was watching too much true crime. So that's the heck she no, was. No, 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 no. Oh, why was the woman that was the singer well, of the cop? When William Kaplan was uh, killed in the car accident. No idea. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, why was she a cop? Because, like... Yeah, they that all was a appear. flashback. They all appear in. in uh, I mean, other that. Uh, I mean, I guess that could have just been a job she was doing. But, but then, it seems the way they all appear in the flashback feels a little removed from reality. Like even though the tent at the bar mitzvah is technically something you could fathom being a witch doing, or the ad on the YouTube. Jen was in, still doing her witchcraft candles. Yeah, those feel a little more naturalistic. So like that's the, what they were doing the before. Ringer, Why was she randomly a cop? The ringer is that, <laughs> yeah, I and, I, and I wonder if it's just like maybe the beat that they're trying to communicate with that character is like, oh, she just got a bunch of different jobs. Like maybe I she mean, was a cop at this point. Yeah, she's was, a hot topic that was later on. Three years earlier, and maybe there was a line that they did drop that maybe you guys could clarify for us. There maybe there was a line that they dropped about how she used to be in law enforcement or something. Yeah. And Either I way, mean, as a protector, it makes sense with her character beat. But mm. either way, it definitely made me go like, <laughs> what? Like, uh, but. I think overall it added to the mystery, like our, our confusion. It's definitely there to make you go like, oh, is this real? Like, is this a real flashback? Yeah. Is this some kind of fantasy vision? Are they digging around in his head? Like, I like the boyfriend, too. Yeah. I like that, that scene sweet. with them. That was a, so that there, it was written scene. well. It was re- I remember being, like, young and in love and not knowing what to say, and it's I can't imagine adding the element of, like, mind reading to that, and how it's already like, oh, oh no, I don't know what to say, but having that in your head would be so hard. That's my worst oh. nightmare, that that yeah. that thing of, like, oh, I can't stop hearing people's thoughts. Please, no. Well, I, I mean, that's what I liked it. They have the horror aspect of, like, not like a horror movie, but the horrific aspect <laughs> of if, if you're able to not turn off your thoughts of hearing other people's thoughts and, yeah. and hearing the judgment and the worry and the pressure of that then to go into a scene with the boyfriend i think that that's a very that was a rather effective scene to get invested in the relationship with them because even though he's hearing his thoughts it's really sweet of course i like that yeah it was really i like lovely. the juxtaposition the duality ah and now i like the show mirrors duality is two mirrors <laughs> and that's and that's a scene <laughs> that, I <laughs> that i think is nice because like i'm sure they could find a way to edit it out but at the same time it's the one of the few times especially in the marvel wing of disney where i've been like oh they have like a gay character or something and they're actually like allowing this romance to be a real thing instead of, like, one kiss that we can easily cut I out. I know, man. Dude, he's a Jewish gay witch with a black boyfriend. Yeah. Whoa. How cool the is that? The wokest <laughs> possible <laughs> character. That boy's checking box. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's nice. I like it. I like and it together. And like you know, he is representing an entire there, community there of which yeah. Jewish gay <laughs> boys. They got to be out there. They're seen. They got to be out there. There's just something kind of cool to me about that because there, there is a time in history where you would not be able to say that. So the fact that we can say that when watching a television show, I'm like, there's something kind of cool to me about that. And the way those details are interspersed throughout the episode, I mean, like they're. Yeah. obvious because well, they're at like a ceremony or whatever, but it doesn't feel like tacky or trite the way that they introduce those details. We don't know if Billy Maximoff is Jewish. That's, That's true. true. William Kaplan <laughs> yeah. is Jewish, William and Kaplan. Billy Maximoff is appropriate. What if he was like, I'm down for everything in this life, but... Uh, but uh, <laughs> you know, my grandpa is Eric Lyncher. Uh, <laughs> and we'd be like, dude, Billy, we were so on board for you. Everything was fine. Until he became anti-Semitic. Yeah, real problematic <laughs> well, in history. Hell, Billy? Part of me it, it wonders if there is some juju like that that hasn't obviously juju. been explained. I don't know if say that word. So weird choice of words considering <laughs> what we just said right now to go juju. Oh, uh, sorry. You mean Jewish yes. Jewish? J E W J E W. Dude, come yes, on, man. Juju. <laughs> Uh, I wonder if there's some kind of uh, magical reason why it would be like somebody who shares the faith of your ancestor and the name of your spirit or something like mm-hmm. that. And maybe why like, he found that body. I think yeah. he was just outside. I mean, he's it, outside real close. <laughs> he's really it, close. He died real close. <laughs> Yeah, it certainly feels like a coincidence or whatever, well, the, like a very happy accident. Well, I mean, Did Tommy have to find a body? Probably. I mean, they didn't. I think the William Kaplan thing could have been effective and a good mislead if they actually used that in yeah. the show. But they did the whole thing where you can't hear his name, right? So it like didn't really matter yeah. until this. Episode. I'm like, you might have been better if you just called him William Kaplan and, and they could hear that, right? Because right. <laughs> yeah. then we wouldn't be like, who's he? Or yeah. we would have been like, that's close to then, Billy. Then, but then, yeah, they might have been like, I guess he's not Billy Maximoff. Yeah, yeah. And then you and they probably they Ralph yeah. Bonered us again. But it's like there was no point in calling him William Kaplan. It's just misleading for like the first ten minutes of this episode, <laughs> right? <laughs> but other than that, it, other than that, it does nothing but be like, that's kind of funny. His name's William, but 
He was inhabited by Billy. <laughs> well, so that's kind of like what I mean with the show. Is it's like, why are we overcomplicating? Like, there's so many times I'm like, I guess, sure. Well, that's one of those things that, that I feel like could easily just be one of those cheeky, like, ah, it's just a kind of coincidence. They have the same name, whatever. But it, it is God, like you're such a Marvel show. But it is put them out. But no, I mean, it's it's right on that razor's edge of of like, or is this intentional, meaningful? I don't know. And and two, there's yeah. the displacement. There's the displacement of events in that you have. The Patty Lapone character putting the sigil on him before he's become Billy, correct? Right. So yeah. like that too makes me curious about like, oh, what is it about you that already makes you a good vessel? Did or that sigil summon Billy? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That we sigil probably burned. nailed it right there. Yeah, yeah. she That's marked true. him. That's true. And yeah, I mean, I don't know what. But why would she do that? Could yeah, she it's like, does she have any involvement with Wanda at all, or yeah. anything we don't know about in terms of WandaVision? Like, like as of now, I think this episode there are still questions just in the displacement of events, even though this is in the guise of like we're gonna explain a bunch to you. Like, I feel like there could still be mysteries from this episode revealed further down the line if and when we see those characters again, because especially because she didn't get a death and. Um, uh, Sashir so Zameda didn't get a death, you know, or no, uh, who who all's gotten deaths? Who so far only the singer, only Alion, and, and only Patty Lepo- uh, not Patty Lepo- and, uh, Deborah Jo Rupp, yeah, uh, Sharon Davis. Thank you. So yeah, those guys haven't died yet, and I feel like they will. Yeah. If they don't come back, I will have gripes, but I feel like they'll have some more mystery to dispel when they return. I still feel like episode four is my favorite, but this would be like my second favorite or third one of there. So yeah, it's high up there. But yeah, guys, I'm good. I'm good. Bring I'm back done talking. Aubrey Plaza. I'm done. Well, I'm done talking. Just bring back Aubrey Plaza. She's if I'm done back. talking, we should all be done talking. <laughs> I'm done talking. All right, we're done talking. I'm Let us know you, in the Cole. comments. But thank you. Thank you. Let us know if you're part Wake of the demographic less. that enjoys this show. Hey, are you part what of the demographic that enjoys the demographic? this show? <laughs> what is the demographic? I'm going to do my review just from the perspective of that whole thing. Mean, every five minutes, I'll repeat <laughs> you're the it one and make sure. That I find for it yourself funny, funny. <laughs> and not that you do this, but people get up in arms about Marvel doing things for not just one demographic, and I'm like, why? Like, it's there are so many properties, so many stories, so many facets of the universe. Why can't you aim I was trying to give multiple the caveat demographics? That I know it's not something that is aimed at me, so I'm happy people like it. And all of a sudden, I'm a monster. I think that's a good distinction. I to think be it's able just to trying to be that's like, hey, if you nuance, like this, great. That's good. That's a good nuance. I'm glad people like it. And Some I'm glad people it's doing... assume that if it's not for you, it's just bad. That's what, exactly what I'm trying to prevent. But here I am getting crap. All right, that's going to do it. Leave a comment, leave a like, leave a subscribe, and uh, peace be with you. Leave well. <laughs> Bye, <laughs>